lovelies. I want to take a shower so freaking badly. Ah, it's like being sick. Um, it also sucks that one of my best friends is having a pumpkin everything party right now. Even though I don't really like pumpkins, but I like friends and I like parties at my friends. But, um, I can't even take a shower, so that just shows you what kind of shape I'm in. I just went and visited my parents. It was a very long walk across the house. Yeah, and I pulled something in my rib cage, and I don't know if I pulled it while I was sick or if I just pulled it today. I can't say I pulled a muscle because I'm not very muscular, but I pulled or popped something, and it is extremely painful, but only if I take full breaths. So, I'm just going to let that heal up, and I'm just not going to breathe in really deeply. My, I was telling my dad about it and then he made me laugh because um, I literally said exactly what he said and I knew this what he was going to say before he said it and then I yelled at them because he made me laugh and it hurt. Um, but that's about it that's going on. I watched two movies today. The first one was The Signal and it has um, really good like young actors in it. I don't know names of young actors, but I don't know the names of old actors either, but I don't know names, period. But, um, it has the boy, um, four that plays character four in Divergent in it, and I don't know, the girl's probably in a lot of other things, but she plays the, um, I don't know what her character's name is, but she's in the Bates Motel, and she plays, um, the character that helps out with the motel. And she was the other person. She didn't really play a very good role, or I didn't really understand actually her role at all. Like, really. I think that they wanted to make a second one because they left it like cliffhangery, or maybe it was a book. I don't know. I didn't look into it because I really. I just, ever, I try to like sci-fi, I really do, because like, you'd think I'd like the alien, like that whole creepy, like scary action type thing, but every sci-fi movie that I've ever watched that is about aliens or alien abduction or anything is like, I don't like it. It's very anticlimactic for me and it's just not scary. So, I don't know. I mean, it's like creepy. Like, it just creeps. I don't like that feeling. Like, I'd rather be scared and like weirded out, but not creeped out, if that makes any sense. Like, my biggest fear is not zombies. It's clowns. So, that gives you an idea of like my taste level of what the things I like and don't like. Um, Aliens are like clowns to me, but not in the like horrific like I can't look at them kind of way like get to like laugh at them kind of way but anyways, um So that's like kind of what this movie is like it's like contamination or sus Suspected like it's pretty much like some they don't like know what happened and that's like abduction right like that's where you go where your mind goes and um so it's like all these people but i don't understand like the afflictions or like what they think is wrong with all of the different characters like some of them it's obvious but because there's like three main young adults but anyways so i didn't like that one and then i was watching snowpiercer which i've been want wanting to watch for a really long time and i wanted to see it in the theaters and um I was like watching it and I was like why did this why is this not a movie that everyone was talking about like this has everything I like love about a movie like the like lower class the upper class like CGI amazing cool story like end of the earth um, or like end of mankind 
um, humanity, the battle, and the rising up, and people being heroic and brave and dying for what they believe in. And I literally had the thought in the middle of it while I was like, why have I not seen this movie? Why did nobody tell me about it? I was like, the ending has to freaking suck. Like, suck bad. Because the beginning that where I was at was freaking amazing. Like, one of those movies you tell everybody about. Like, tell everybody to go see. And then I got to the end of the movie. And... Yeah, I literally, I cried during the movie. Like, that's how into this movie I was. And, um, I cried at, like, a couple of different points of the movie. Um, and then the end. It's so much suckier than you could possibly even imagine. Like, it's not even one of those, like, you get to the end and, like, everything's, like, like, the whole time. Like, I'm like, oh, it's just fake. Like, the whole thing's just been fake. And, um nope no it's real just really just really made me angry and i was like oh wow that sucks and i was like oh wow that sucks even more okay that sucks even more with every character i hate you and um so yeah if you want to see a movie 75% of the way and love it, you should watch Snowpiercer. If you want to be horrifically challenged and upset and made angry and uh, have a lot of violence that adds up for no appeal, then you should see Snowpiercer. The end, the very, very end, have no words no words for the end of that movie like the very end of that movie no words I want to punch things oh I still don't have my voice back fully anyways I hope you guys don't make pain for your stress for your day I am going to lie down and think about the shower mm. and as soon as I get the energy I that thing's mine um it's not even because I'm necessarily that dirty. It's just like when you're really sick and you've like been to the hospital or gone to the doctors or anything like that. Like, I don't know. I just, for me, I just always want to take a shower. And so that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But uh, I have to have the energy to get in and out of the shower. Mm. One trick up. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to pick up my little puppy. He's sitting here patiently begging to get up on the bed. And then I'm just going to breathe gently until I fall asleep yeah sounds like fun huh sitting on a couple of those and as always I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye